Hello YouTube, welcome back to our tutorials. So, like I said last time, we've been working on death animations and now we're going to work on ragdoll effects. The next tutorial will make it randomised between the death lot they're going to have. So it'll look really cool, so you can go up to one enemy, he'll fall down. Go up to another enemy, he'll go flying back, flimsy his arms around. Kill another enemy, he'll fall forward, stuff like that. Really, really cool. So, ragdoll effects was actually suggested, I just thought it would incorporate the death animations really, really well. So what ragdoll effects is, is basically it puts weights on every single body part you've got, not like every single skin, so like your main parts, like your hands, your elbow, your arm, shoulders, your legs, your knees, your feet, head, body, spine, stuff like that, and it'll give them all weight, colliders, and joints. The colliders is to stop it falling through the floor and going through things when it's flopping around. Rigid body gives it weight so it can fly, well, you can throw it against a wall and each individual part will react. And then the joints are to keep the actual character together because you don't technically need bones in your character to make it work. It just helps. So, what we're going to first do is duplicate a character because we need another character for this. So we'll call him 3. Oh, before anyone complains, um, yes he did volunteer to do this. He rang me up and was really willing to be shot at multiple times with fire and fall down breaking possibly every single bone in his body. But he was willing. So. Now let's carry on. To add a um, ragdoll effect, firstly you need to put your character in a T-pose. The reason you put him in a T-pose is because since it's guessing how to, well the size of each body part to put colliders on, if two, collide, two body parts like the shoulder and the, well, the forearm and the body are intersecting, then it'll make the colliders bigger than they need to be and then you'll look weird. Well, it'll look weird because you'll just be floating. So I'm just going to drag it up. It doesn't have to be a perfect T-pose, just a basic one like that. Simple as that. Oh, and um, before you guess, yes, you will have, may have to do this to every character, but once you've done it once, you can just use a prefab. But yeah, so make sure you click nothing, so just click your sky, and then go game object, create other, ragdoll. So the reason it says here, T-stand, is because I've just explained. So let's begin assigning it. So first it says your root. The root is pretty much where your bones or your character starts. So not the parent, because that's for around the animation purposes. Not the one with the things attached. You want to use the BIP. BIP 001. Assign that. So that it could be called hips, it could be called body, something like that. Um, these don't have to necessarily be the exact things you want, but it that's just for human purposes. So like flopping around like a human would, kind of. Even though that sounds weird, but yeah. So, left hips, that is your th um, top of your legs. So, we're going to use our thighs. So, assign your left thigh, your right thigh, and your left calf, feet, knees, right calf, feet, knees. And then inside your calves, you'll see your feet. So, left foot, right foot. So, that's our legs done. So, you can't play it yet because you can't click create. You've got to assign everything. So, if you haven't got one of these, you've got to assign something else to it or get, you need to get one. But yeah, so left arm, that will be your upper arm. So here, left arm, right arm. And for your elbows, you just go in and get your forearm, left forearm, right forearm. Middle spine, the way I usually go about it, is because you've got multiple spines. Go from the top of your character all the way down through the children and get the first word, what's the spine, and assign it. That's the way I always do it. Now for your head, most characters will have a head built into the BIP, but since ours is a weird custom model, it doesn't, if you're using mine. So what I'm going to do is use our custom head, what we've put on. Just to test if it's a custom head, if you click it, you can rotate our head. Whereas if I click the neck here and rotate it, it rotates the arms, because it's weird. So once you've assigned all of them, you can mess with the total mass and strength if you like. I'm not going to, I'm just going to click create. You'll see nothing happen at first. But if you look through your characters, you'll see they all got assigned the parts we said, like <coughs> this one here, box collider for the spine, capsule collider for the arms, rigid body character joint, stuff like that. You don't really need to mess with these unless you want to start going picky, like if you want it to be perfect. But um, just look on the Unity forums for those and I'll explain all of them, because I really don't need to. So if we grab, drag him up now, and drag our game view down and click play, you'll see that it's completed. Boom. The reason it messes up is because we've got a box slider there. 
I have a feeling that if you turn the box collider into a trigger, it should not work. It will work, it'll just stop spazzing out. There you go. Boom. Flap. Perfect. So what we're going to do is when you shoot him, it turns that on. Simple as that. Boom, it's all on. But then, when it's not, when he's like alive, it's turned off, so he's fine. So we're going to drag him down. And if my theory is correct, because the bullet will hit him and turn him into it, he should go flying back, which will look amazing if it does work. So, the only script we've got attached to all of these here is our enemy collision. So we're just going to assign it to that. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new component, new variable called body parts. And this will be a component array. Now you all know what components are, but for those of you who don't know where it is, it's basically these things in here. So your animation, your box collider, your enemy collisions, your animator, stuff like that, you transform. All the things you add, so scripts, sound, they're components. So all this will do is store a load of them. So what's it going to store, you may think? It's going to store each rigid body for each body part. So it's going to find it, store it. The easiest way to do this is to type body parts equals, and this is a new code for you, get components in children. Now what that will do is basically you assign it to a parent, you don't assign it to every single one, and it will search every single child. And whatever you specify between these br the brackets here, it will find that component and add it. So maybe you wanted to disable an audio source on your character. Put this on, it will disable every single audio source. Stuff like that. So in here, we want to find rigid body with a capital R. If we play that now, click our main character, you'll see that the body parts will be filled up with each body part. So bit, 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 all rigid bodies. So as you can see, we've got uh, 11 rigid bodies on it. But we need to disable it. Now, what's the best way to disable a rigid body force us from working? You make it, you make it kinetic. So best way to do this is for var i equals zero. I is less than body parts dot length i plus plus. If you haven't guessed, we're just going to use a simple for loop. So for body parts i so zero one two three four five six seven blah blah, blah dot rigid body dot is kinetic or kinetic equals true. So if it's true, it won't move. But if it's false, it'll fly around like a muppet. It'd be funny. So that will run a for loop, disabling every single body part's gravity and forces. So if we play, he'll stand still. There we go. That's it. He's just standing still. Really, really cool. So what we need to do is also make another one of these called body part colliders. And in here, we're going to put collider. I don't know if this will work. This is just a theory. But if not, it, in fact, better way for you. Just get rid of that. In here, we're going to type body parts dot i dot game object dot collider dot is trigger equals true. If this works, hopefully, I'll explain why in a minute. Did it work? Yes. Yeah, so the reason we're going to do this. I weren't sure that was going to work, that's why I didn't explain it. It's because our collider, our actual script, wants not a trigger, an actual box thing. So this needs to be false. So is trigger this false? But if we turn them both on, they'll, in they'll interfere and mess up. So what we're going to do here is just make every single of these body parts, what's got a collider, a trigger. And then as soon as we do, we just do a quick switcheroo. Our main one is the trigger now, and everything else doesn't turn the kinetic off and they'll all flop. So where do we want to turn it all back on? Well the best way would be in here. So if you copy that for loop and in here where it says animation.play you can note that out and we'll just duplicate this and type 1 so we know it goes in here. Tab this in and so let's note this out as ragdoll. Perfect. So in here, body parts either is kinetic equals false, and trigger false. So now they'll all have colliders, they'll all have forces. It'll flop like a daisy as soon as its life's gone. However, we still need to disable the actual trigger around it. So we're going to type uh, this dot game object 
dot collider dot oh we've actually already got it right here look is trigger equals true so just paste it above here and that's it so if we play that and you shoot him five times boom 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 it'll come down here no to doubt no to doubt turn it into a trigger right it's a trigger now for each loop so we've already got the loop up here turn his comedic off right it'll do it just like we did at first and he should flop as soon as he gets shot does he move nope so if we drag this up here find him just refresh our layout there and the one with the T pose fire and he's dead so obviously we could add some forces to push him back maybe one day but I think that's pretty cool thank you to whoever suggested that I actually had a lot of fun discovering new features about this so we can sit there and boom and every single time he moves it will be completely different and because we've kept him in his own separate parent we can move him everywhere so we maybe move him up here not there move him over here shoot him and he'll be completely different but still the it won't jump and yes if you push into him you can make him fall different so he fell back that time so it's really really cool it really works if you shoot these it'll throw an error until we randomize it to do it differently but just for now we're going to move his arms back down and then end the tutorial so wrong one there and um, we'll choose center so it's not um, just grabbing in the middle and we'll move it down and we'll move it down again but you'll move the right one there we go now let's test it again this should be funny his arms should explode out when he's shot because he's all together so let's see there and boom perfect so you could experiment put, throw someone off a building or something do something cool I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching join the Facebook group below to write suggestions and get direct contact with me and see you next time